In this video, we will demonstrate how to use High Tide to download PODAC data. High Tide stands for High Level Tool for Interactive Data Extraction and is a PODAC tool used for Level 2 or L2 satellite swath data. For our example, we will download SWAT sea surface height data. To use High Tide, go to the URL hightide.podac.earthdatacloud.nasa.gov. We can choose to go through a tutorial or continue on to High Tide. We can also check this box below to skip the introduction page in the future. Then choose Continue. Now we see a global map on the left-hand side and a list of data sets on the right-hand side. First, in the upper right-hand corner, log in with a Earth Data account. Near the top, the three tabs label three stages of using High Tide, which are search data sets, granule selection, and downloads. We start in search data sets. First, use the calendar button to select the time range. We can type in a month, day, and year, or take care to select through the year, month, and day in order for the selection to apply. Then click Apply. Now use the Select Region button, which pulls up spatial selection. We can select a region by typing in the coordinates or by drawing a bounding box. We draw a box in the Southeast Atlantic, then click Apply. So now High Tide has already narrowed down the list of datasets by the date range and region. Now we select the SWAT L2 LRSSH basic dataset. At the bottom, click Select and Preview Granules. Looking at the top, we see we have moved to the next stage of granule selection. There are 49 granules that match our initial selection of date range and region. Click on the data set, and this expands the list of matching granules. Above the list, we have options to further filter it by name and a second date range. In the file list, are two icons to the left of each row. Toggle the hexagon to show or hide the granule footprint. Toggle the picture icon to show or hide the variable preview. At the bottom right of the map, expand the legends and opacity box to select different variables to preview. We can turn off the SSH Karen variable and instead preview the SSH Karen2 variable. At the bottom, we can click on Add Matching Granules to add this entire list displayed to the download request. It will take a longer time if there are more granules selected. If we want only part of this list, we can further filter it down using options above, or click on the granules that we want while holding the control key, or we can select a range of granules by holding the shift key, then right click and choose add selected granules to download. Next, click on the downloads tab at the top to move to the download stage. Here we review granules for download. Expand the collection summary to see the filters that were used for this set of granules. We can further expand granule names list as well as the variables list. Here we can select certain variables to download, but by default all of the variables are included to begin with. Now click the blue button that says download selected granules submits the selections for processing. When processing is done, the download links appear below under Your Downloads. The section also displays recent requests. When the job is finished, click Undownload Links. 
and the link for each subsetted granule will be displayed. We can click on these to download immediately or copy and save the links to use in a command or a script later. And this is how we search and subset ODAC L2 data using the High Tide tool. Thank you.